Hello everyone, my name is Om Sagasong. This is Navigation Drawer 2017. In this video, I will talk about how to create Navigation Drawer in Android Studio. As you might know, I have already a tutorial about the Navigation Drawer before, but recently Android released a new layout called Constraint Layout, which has a problem with the fragment, especially with the Navigation Drawer. So for those of you who are a beginner, you might encounter the problem with the constraint layout. So in this particular video, I will start with the beginning of uh, creating navigation drawer and then start to create a fragment and then and how to solve the problem with the constraint layout. Okay, let's go to Android. So, okay, so now I use Android Studio 2.3. So this is the latest version uh, today, so February 14, this is the last update. And also I use Jenny Motion for the emulator, this is the Jenny Motion. So let's call it nav1 for navigation drawer and the company domain just umside the salt is my name. And you don't have to tick this, you know, just leave it. Next here, and you can use version 4 which is a good version because a lot of people are still using this so and now choose navigation drawer over here okay and that's it and click finish okay so let's just run it okay okay this is the navigation drawer okay so that's it for the navigation drawer but you have to add, um, you know, like a fragment to it because the whole uh, activity here can only uh, hold a new fragment. You cannot place uh, an activity into another activity. You have to put um, a fragment into here, okay? And before we go into the fragment, just want to point out something here. So the main part here, when you go to uh, main activity which is under folder uh, Java and then your package name here and there's a lot of code here so there's a lot of code and we will not do anything for right now um, just try to understand it first so uh, the first layout that you have to understand which is the first one is activity main because here you see because the main activity still connect to activity main here but when you go to the code here you will see include um, you know uh, tag here so it just include uh, the layout into the um, activity main .xml which is uh, app bar main so this is uh, like the whole um, template you know like anything is going on is under the control of the activity main but if you want to change the code you have to go to each one for example now if you want to go to app bar main here so this is the app bar main so this is where you uh, want to delete this if you want to you know because maybe you want to change the color like the background of this or maybe you want to Change uh, the area. The text here is not uh, um, changeable because it is in the content main here, as you can see. So if you want to change here, you have to go to the code. You can see now the include is in the layout content main. So here is the content main. That's the real place you want to change something. Okay. And that is one. Let's go back to uh, activity main. When you go down here, you will hit. Uh, you will see another layout the header layout here the nav uh, the nav had had the main here okay here this is where you want to change the icon okay but be careful because the icon is very small if you try to put the big icon it can have a problem here but you can change the text and if you want to change the color here this is the this is the Sif Dev app icon. If you want to change that, it is in the drawer here. So, 
source compact Android. So this is from not not from the Drawable, but it's from the and the Android line. Hello everyone, my name is Om Sagasong. This is Navigation Drawable 2017. In this video, I will talk about how to create Navigation Drawable in Android Studio. As you might know, I have already a tutorial about the Navigation Drawable before, but recently Android released a new layout called Constraint Layout, which has a problem with the fragment, especially with the Navigation Drawable. So for those of you who are beginner, you might encounter the problem with the constraint layout. So in this particular video, I will start with the beginning of uh, creating navigation drawer and then start to create a fragment and then and how to solve the problem with the constraint layout. Okay, let's go to Android. So, okay, so now I use and hello everyone. My name is Om Sagasong. This is navigation drawer 2017. In this video, I will talk about how to create navigation drawer in Android Studio. As you might know, I have already a tutorial about the navigation drawer before, but recently Android released a new layout called Constraint Layout, which has a problem with the fragment, especially with the navigation drawer. So for those of you who are beginner, you might encounter the problem with the constraint layout. So in this particular video, I will start with the beginning of uh, creating navigation drawer and then start to create a fragment and then and how to solve the problem with the constraint layout. Okay, let's go to Android. So, okay, so now I use Android Studio 2.3. So this is the latest version uh, today. So February 14, this is the last update. And also I use Jenny Motion for the emulator. This is the Jenny Motion. So let's call it nav1 for navigation drawer and the company domain just um side is all just my name. And you don't have to tick this, you know, just leave it. Next here. And you can use version 4, which is a good version because a lot of people are still using this. Hello everyone, my name is Om Sagasong. This is Navigation Drawer 2017. In this video, I will talk about how to create Navigation Drawer in Android Studio. As you might know, I have already a tutorial about the Navigation Drawer before, but recently Android released a new layout called Constraint Layout, which has a problem with the fragment, especially with the Navigation Drawer. So for those of you who are beginner, you might encounter the problem with the constraint layout. So in this particular video, I will start with the beginning of uh, creating navigation drawer and then start to create a fragment and then and how to solve the problem with the constraint layout. Okay, let's go to Android. So, okay, so now I use Android Studio 2.3. So this is the latest version uh, today, so February 14, this is the last update. And also I use Jenny Motion for the emulator, this is the Jenny Motion. So let's call it nav1 for navigation drawer and the company domain just um side is all just my name. And you don't have to tick this, you know, just leave it. Next here, and you can use version 4 which is a good version because a lot of people are still using this so and now choose navigation drawer oh remember you have a menu here so to change the menu you have to go back here and menu here the activity main uh, drawer here's the menu and just put the text here is the camera okay if you want to change something change here the title and uh, now camera here is for the camera okay and just call it camera because import in camera is you know i don't know why they put a different name here even here maybe just call it manage something like that okay you want to delete it here you can but you have to go to this block the code and you delete it as well okay but for now just change it a bit so to call the fragment first you have to call uh, blank fragment and then 
declare blank fragment new blank fragment okay and this is the variable with the small b and here is the capital b don't be confused with that now you call fragment manager and manager and get support fragment manager so this one is very important because you want to support the older version of Android so if you want to use support you have to go back to fragment here the blank one and make sure you import the right uh, fragment here okay so if you did you support something like this it still work and if you use all you know Android video you would encounter this problem the import uh, try to import the new version of fragment so you have to add this code okay now and now you can use the support otherwise if you use the the version um, the new version you have to call get fragment uh, manager or something like that okay but now i use properly get support fragment manager now manager dot begin transaction and replace so you want it to replace to where okay to here you can pen main here right this is the main layout right so all dot id dot main layout and you want to press which one blank fragment okay and this one you can put the uh, get tag here okay um, in case next time you want to retrieve it back the information is here on and commit the third one is not necessary for you as a beginner you can just delete that it still works okay so just run it and you would expect to see that when you click on the camera you would see the here okay the fragment blank but you will see nothing okay okay click nothing so the problem here you would encounter that is it's not because of the fragment but because of the constraint layout the new layout that android just in the use so it's this in the content main here so the constraint layout cannot hold the fragment yet i think there will be some change in the future but for now if you want to cope with that you have to create another layout here so you can you go to design and uh, hold the layout here and you choose any other layout not constraint layout again maybe linear is okay or relative is good so just grab the the you know relative layout here but be careful uh, constraint layout need the constraint so if you go to text here you will um, uh, have you know like the error around the relative layout here because even the layout uh, inside the layout it still need the constraint so to do the if you, you you try to run it if you don't fix this problem you will see nothing again okay let, let me try to show you okay because uh, I want to show you the step by step how to fix that uh, constraint problem see that see nothing but to fix that just click here and click on the infer constraint like uh, you know the orange star okay just click that now I, I expect that we'll see some constraint here yeah see some code here and you don't see any red line again so, okay there one more problem because the ID here um, is still in uh, the constraint layout so I have to cut it okay so just put it into the relative layer okay and run it again so I think now the problem would be solved okay okay now you can see the uh, fragment okay so to solve the problem of the constraint remember that you cannot um, uh, replace any fragment into the constraint layout but you can like a work around you just put the uh, you know relative or maybe linear layout inside that and then um, send the fragment 
to replace this uh, reactive layout okay so this is the purpose of the video try to fix the constraint problem so that's it for this video thank you for watching if you have any question or doubt please comment down below i will try to answer it or if it is difficult to understand maybe i will make another video for your specific person so thank you and i will see you in the next video